We pray for a miracle, says Russian bishop spokesman one year after consecration to Mary. On March 25, one year after Pope Francis' consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the spokesman for the Russian Bishops' Conference, Father Kirill Gorbanov, assured that the fruit we are hoping and praying for is basically a miracle. In declarations to ACI Prensa, Father Gorbanov pointed out that they are hoping for a miracle, because from a purely human point of view there are not many reasons for hope at this moment. The greatest miracle of all is the conversion of hearts from hatred and resentment to forgiveness and reconciliation. It is more difficult than moving mountains, said the priest, who clarified that it is difficult to speak of immediate results when we are faced with events of such deep spiritual significance. Father Kirill Gorbanov commented that Pope Francis' decision to consecrate Russia and Ukraine together is a strong and much-needed reminder that in the eyes of God we are all his sinful and suffering children. We are all in need of his mercy, all of us, who desire to repent and convert, he extends the same offer of forgiveness and salvation, he added. The spokesman stated that in times of war, there is always the terrible temptation to see the other side as less human. The consecration of Russia and Ukraine is a strong message against this temptation. Possibly the most difficult thing for people on opposing sides in such a conflict is to continue to pray for one another and with one another. The Church firmly believes that this fidelity to communion with one another is the only possibility for conversion and reconciliation. I believe that what Pope Francis writes about the value and meaning of forgiveness in Fratelli Tutti is not only a beautiful spiritual reading, but a very practical guide for us," the priest noted. The spokesman for the Russian Episcopate recalled that it was the Virgin Mary, in her apparitions in 1917 at Fatima, who asked that Russia must be consecrated to her Immaculate Heart to avoid great evils and suffering. The pontiffs repeated this consecration several times, and countless people throughout the world took this message to heart and continued to pray for the conversion of Russia," he commented. After the fall of the Soviet Union, many have thought that the prophecy has been fulfilled and that there is no longer a need for these prayers. Recent events show that this is not true, the priest said. Finally, the spokesman stressed that these prayers are even more necessary than before. At the same time, I strongly feel that at this moment it is impossible to pray for Russia without praying for Ukraine and vice versa. The Holy Father has given us a great example of such prayer," the priest concluded. Let us continue to pray for the miracle to happen, and for this absurd war to come to an end. Praise be to Jesus Christ.